Hearst Castle has always been a popular destination for world travelers. We'll take a couple of tours of the house and grounds. Now, if you plan to visit this busy park, be sure to reserve tickets in advance. My next stop was San Simeon and world famous Hearst Castle. One of the largest of 5,000 historic house museums in the United States, Hearst San Simeon State Historical Monument is one of the most visited state parks in California. The lavish creation of newspaper magnate William Randolph Hearst and architect Julia Morgan, Hearst Castle houses an outstanding collection of European antiques and art pieces. Historians believe that Hearst's interest in European art and architecture was sparked when he toured Europe as a young man. As a grown man, his love of art is reflected in the 130-room main house, La Casa Grande, as well as the guest houses and gardens on his enchanted hill. Four different tours are available to the public for a moderate fee and require advance reservations. Each tour focuses on a particular area of the property, with Tour 1 being recommended for first-time visitors. The visitor center was my first stop. It's an attractive building that contains an information desk, a snack bar for lunch before or after a tour, and a gift shop with souvenirs and reading material on Hearst Castle. I decided to take Tour 1 in the morning and Tour 2 in the afternoon. At the assigned time, we boarded the bus that was taking our tour up to the castle. No private cars are allowed past the visitor center parking lot. No food, strollers, flash cameras, or tripods are permitted either. Five miles of winding road and rolling hills lie between the visitor center and La Casa Grande. All tours take about an hour and 45 minutes, cover between 150 and 400 steps, and visit the magnificent Neptune Pool. Inspired by the classical period and constructed of concrete faced with marble, this 104-foot pool also sports marble colonnades at each end and is enhanced by white marble statues. From there, Tour 1 took us through one of the guest houses, down some garden pathways, and finally to the main house. Visitors on this tour explore the rooms on the bottom floor. These included an enormous assembly room, refectory where all the castle meals were taken, the morning room, and billiard room. All the rooms featured furnishings and art from Spain, Italy, and France, which date from the 15th through the 18th centuries. A private theater showed a brief movie reel of Hearst entertaining celebrities in the castle's heyday. Before we were led to a departing bus, we visited the Roman pool. Artisans labored for three years on this incredible indoor structure. Color Venetian glass tiles interspersed with tiles containing gold leaf create a beautiful aquatic design. Between tours, I returned to the visitor center and explored the exhibit gallery with Duroy from Public Relations. The gallery has displays on hand that document the history of the Hearst family and construction of Hearst Castle. In the afternoon, I return to La Casa Grande for Tour 2. This tour takes visitors up narrow winding staircases to the second and third floors and Hearst's private quarters. On the second floor, we retreated to views of the library. Housed here are 5,000 books and a superb collection of ancient Greek vases. Another flight up took us into Hearst's personal sanctum, where we marveled at his Gothic study. This dark room contrasted with his airy private sitting room across the hall. This bedroom, decorated in gold tones, was one of the cozier rooms we visited all day. At Hearst Castle, it's easy to become overwhelmed by the grandeur. So remember, Take time to pause and examine the exquisite details.